Project 2 consists of your QDW, or Question Development Worksheet. The template will be downloaded from the link provided in the Project 2 area of Module 4. The template contains a list of questions that you will answer about your natural science topic from the news story you chose from Science Daily back in Week 1. Many of the questions in the template have been posed previously in earlier assignments. Your responses in these earlier submissions can be modified or expanded on here in Project 2. As mentioned in the overview for this assignment, your work in this project will directly support your progress in the final presentation in Module 8. Although the questions you are asked in this template are relatively straightforward, let's go ahead and review our prompts from the Project 2 guidelines and rubric. The first prompt asks that you discuss the reasons why you selected your news story back in week one. This is directly related to our discussion prompt for the 3-1 discussion in module three. With the rubric containing an exemplary level of achievement, consider what details you can add to your original post from the 3-1 discussion to ensure both scientific and personal reasons are clearly specified. The second prompt and critical element for Project 2 are associated with your description of the prior knowledge and assumptions you had about your science topic prior to choosing your news story back in week one. You can use your responses from the 3-3 short answer to build on the statements to include here. To achieve the exemplary level of achievement for this critical element, a demonstration of your insight into the science topic is required. To achieve this, we can compare our current level of knowledge after four weeks with this topic to our knowledge base back in week one. What have you gained from studying this topic? Or how has your perspective changed over the last few weeks? The third question in your QDW is one that deserves special attention as it can be easily confused for something else. Your response for this question will include the natural science concepts that are related to your news story and science topic. These concepts are not the same thing as the different branches or fields of natural science related to your news story. The concepts are the big picture concepts we have been exploring in this course, such as bias, funding in scientific research, making objective observations, the steps of the scientific method, and the role of curiosity. This question is not asking for the relevant fields of natural science related to your news story. It wants to know how our concepts in this course are exemplified through your natural science topic and news story. To earn the exemplary level of achievement for this critical element, a demonstration of a strong grasp of empirical evidence is required. In a nutshell, how can you relate what you have learned from your news story and science topic to the concepts we have studied in this course so far? Can you make any connections or see any examples of these concepts within your news story? In questions four and five, we will wrap up our QDW by selecting the one question we think a natural scientist would want to know about our science topic. This will be the one question we want to move forward with for the remainder of the course. The question you submit for the question four in this QDW must be one you have previously posed in either project one or the three, three short answer, or it must be closely related. At this point, we cannot ask a brand new question regarding a new aspect of your topic that was not previously mentioned in your previous questions. This is one of your keys to success in the final portion of the QDW because the question you submit for question four, that will be the question used as the basis for your final presentation in module eight. Question five is our final question and it is important in supporting your chosen question as one a natural scientist would pursue within your natural science topic. Your response to question five is necessary to demonstrate your insight into natural scientific study, which is required to earn the exemplary level of achievement in the question critical element. Now that we have had four weeks considering the scientific process and learning how scientists approach topics, why do you think the question you have chosen is one a natural scientist would ask? As you prepare your responses for the QDW, please let me know if you have any questions or concerns. The best way to contact me is through email, but you can always post to this thread in the general questions discussion as well. 
Thanks for watching and good luck.